Hi, thanks for joining me today. In this studio vlog, I'm going to talk a little bit about color theory. It's not like anyone's asking, but I do use color in my illustrations to add colors not normally associated with the object. For instance, on this dog with mostly brown, white, a little bit of gray, and a few spots of black fur, I added dioxazine purple, ultramarine blue, and cobalt blue. So I wanted to talk to you about that because in my recent video of a little dachshund dog, I also used those colors. So I'm going to illustrate here just where I use them and how. For one thing, um, a shadow color mixed with a burnt sienna or a Van Dyke brown or an umber with uh, ultramarine blue makes that a neutral. It's what's called a neutral. It can make as dark as black or as light as just, you know, a bluish toned gray or something like that, which Payne's gray can also do. But in the areas between the ears and the face, the sunlight is not able to get in there as one fold of the ear goes over the face. And so I use a, a dark blue with the neutral. I turn that dark blue to cold or that neutral color to cold. And with the dioxazine purple and the burnt sienna or the Van Dyke brown, where the light is hitting, but still the form is turning away from the light, yet a little bit of the sunlight can get in there, I use a warmer neutral. And so then I use dioxazine purple to mix what, which I'm doing here where the ear comes out into the sunlight, but it's still turning the corner uh, That's you know, not exactly hit, hit In the Sun, excuse me And so then the Naples yellow I use along where the next part of the ear is Directly hit by the Sun. So it's also still a brown fur, but as the sunlight hits it It might be a highlight of Naples yellow Okay, I wanted to explain that from the last video with the dachshund, which I will put a link to in the description box below. Whereas that one started from the drawing. I started this one a little bit later because the camera cut out on that one so I could explain it at this portion here. So together, those two kind of make the whole entire painting. Or these two, I meant to say. Um, now another place I put the purple neutrals purple toned neutrals versus the ultramarine blue or thalo blue toned neutrals is um, the slats of the fence. As the sunlight is not getting into those slats, it's cooler back there. So I'll use the, the blue to shade the, you know, the paints gray or the Van Dyke brown. And against the fence where the sunlight is hitting, I'll use the dioxazine purple uh, where the dog is putting a little bit of shadow on the fence to neutralize the color and where the opposite side of the dog is against the fence I'll use the blue again because the sunlight is not getting in that area so that's a little bit of color theory also um, as the object like the snout comes out toward or you're supposed to give that illusion of the snout coming out toward toward you, the viewer. Um, I'll use highlights like a little Naples yellow or a little uh, cadmium lemon yellow so that you know it's warm. It's, it's not only coming out toward you, but it's, it's warmer versus, you know, maybe back toward the back of the head as it rounds a, a more neutral less intense shade where the sun is hitting and it won't be quite as warm so that's just a little bit of color theory as to warm and cool shadows because everyone thinks of shadows as they're all cool but you can use that to add quite a bit of different colored you know also a, a red or you know like a cadmium red which is like a little bit orangey added is warm and you know show that um, maybe it's a darker area that the sunlight is on that side whereas 
the other side you'd use a, a magenta, a cool blue colored magenta. You know, you don't always have to add a different color to to shade, but you can just choose your colors that way too. And also coming out toward you, you know, more intense, more darks to lights. The the highlight might be lighter, the shadow might be darker like the snout, whereas the back of the head, it's all pretty much the same mid-tone area. Okay, I hope that helped. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing to my channel. I put out new content every Tuesday and every Friday. This Springer Spaniel is part of a dog fabric that I'm putting together for a spoon flower challenge and I have a few other dogs, dog breeds that are in the fabric but each one's a painting on its own and so the paintings are for sale and also the prints from the paintings are in my Etsy shop. Link below in the description box if you're interested. If you have any questions about what I said or about color theory, I'd love to help. Just leave a comment in the comment section. And as always, thank you for watching. After getting this illustration done, I went outside and I took photographs of an egret rook that I saw as I was driving along. So I'll show those to you as this video ends. Stay wild, Moonchild.